In today's increasingly globalized world, being able to roll your R's gives you an undoubtable cool factor. But no matter what I do, I just can't get it. And trust me, it's not for a lack of trying. Arr. <clears throat> For years and years, my friends have constantly teased me. Shit. Fuck it. Do it live. Rise and shine, mother. Agitator. What the fuck? We're starting this shit. Fuck you, Stim. I was having the best riot dream. Anyway, I am your host, Stimulator, and this is the fucking news. Oh! 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 Look at this! What's happening? I don't know what's going on! What the hell is going on? Last week, we touched on the Mayday skirmishes in my home out of Borique, or as it's known by its gringo overlords, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Where peeps launched a general strike and a mob of pissed off youth threw down against heavily militarized riot pigs in the streets of San Juan. But turns out shit wasn't quite done, and the following night, hundreds of people participated in a demo calling for the repeal of the fucked up Puerto Rico Oversight Management and Economic Stability Act, or PROMESA. For all you gringos out there, that means promise in Spanish, as in, I promise, I WILL FUCK YOU UP! And since shit that goes down in Borique doesn't get much play outside of the Bronx and Central Florida, I thought I'll break it all down for you. This bullshit law passed in 2016 by the man your mama calls Obama, set up an unelected and unaccountable fiscal oversight committee similar to the one that turned Flint's water system into fucking poison. <laughs> These greasy Wall Street fuck puppets have wasted no time in forcing through deep cuts to public spending, imposing ruthless austerity measures on a population still reeling from a decade-long economic crisis and the devastating effects of Hurricane Maria. Last month, the country's alien power grid, PREPA, which is in the process of being privatized, crapped out, once again plunging the entire island into darkness. And despite the break that this gave to the country's abuelitas from the non-stop blaring of shitty fucking reggaeton. Gracias. These constant blackouts are taking a serious toll on the island's inhabitants particularly for the 40,000 peeps who've been without power since Maria hit eight fucking months ago. The devastation brought by this megastorm has only quickened the fucking pace of a mass exodus from the island, with hundreds of thousands of Boricuas relocating to the mainland United Snakes. Among those who stuck around, the poverty rate has now shot up to 60%, even as the oversight board is recommending steep hikes in the price of basic essentials like water. All of this fucking price gouging is aimed at paying off the massive debt of more than 70 billion fucking dollars that the island owes to US bondholders. A good chunk of which is now owned by so-called vulture funds, who make serious fucking bank from scavenging the economies of the global south. Hedge fund billionaire John Paulson, he's considering a move to Puerto Rico to avoid paying US capital gains taxes. But it doesn't take a fucking economist to realize that the shit Buddy K is growing through is due to its continued status as an incorporated territory, aka a motherfucking colony of the US empire. Ever since snatching control of Puerto Rico, from its earlier Spanish colonizers in 1898, Tio Sam has primarily viewed the island as a strategic military base and a source of cheap labor. And more recently, baseball players. For decades, the island was set up as a giant fucking sugar plantation for the US, until the 70s when its economy was restructured into an internal offshore tax haven in order to attract US manufacturers, and particularly pharmaceutical companies, who set up shop in order to pay shit wages while avoiding having to pay the taxmen. The last of these loopholes was closed in 2006, leading many of the same companies to pull up shop and thereby helping to kick off the current economic crisis in which the island's entire economy has become based on royalties from the song Despacito But for much of its history, Body K has been a site of fierce resistance to its colonial masters 
from the island's original Taino inhabitants who launched the first insurrection of the so-called New World to revolts against Spanish rule in the early 19th century to the independentistas who waged an armed struggle for national liberation from the 1950s until the early 80s, shooting up the U.S. Congress, attempting to kill President Truman, and stealing millions of dollars from Wells Fargo, and redistributing the loot to poor Puerto Ricans. And the way things are headed, it looks like another wave of resistance is brewing. Let's fucking hope so. Palante, mi gente. And that's all the fucking news for today. As always, don't forget to support my ass at sub.media slash donate. Or buy a t-shirt or a coffee mug with my face on it at sub.media slash gear. And remember to follow me on all your mass surveillance and mind control platforms. Just search for Stimulator. Hasta la pasta, compañera.